Jacob Hess here with NGT Academy, and we are at the Cisco Live 2022 Network Operations Center. At every single Cisco Live, they have all of the equipment that's running the network for Cisco Live here on display. It's like a mini data center. Actually, it's, I mean, there's a lot of equipment there. That's not a mini data center. That's millions and millions of dollars worth of equipment. And it's running all the network here at Cisco Live, all the wireless access points. And so every single Cisco Live is done in a different location. And their setup might be a little bit different every, every location we go to. And we usually like to interview someone from the Network Operations Center team. Currently, the folks are working on some real work back there. So they're unable to come out at this time. So here we are. I have the floor to myself. And we'll just have a quick look here at what's going on. As you can see, we have all this hardware we can talk about a bit. Uh, but here on the screen, we have information about everything that's happened, which is really cool on the Cisco Live Network Operations Center. You know, they got a very interactive diagram here. Here's the core of the network you can see. This is the Cisco Live Network Topology. You have the core. Here we have these Catalyst 9606Rs switches, and then here down in the data center we have these data center switches, these Nexus 95 of course. You can see how it's showing how everything is interconnected. You can see we have interconnection between these chassis. Usually these circles can mean port channels, but it just means that these are aggregated connections. So we have highly redundant connectivity, as you can see, between every single thing in the core of the LAN and also in the storage area network here in the data center. We can see all the different devices uh, moving more into the data center here. We've got these Firepower 9300s connecting into the Nexuses. And then we also see here it's going out to these NetApp devices and the UCS storage or the UCS servers. Uh, the NetApp devices, NetApp appliances are for the storage array. We also have some hyperflex, uh, hyperconvergence going on here as well. So they're really showing off and displaying a lot of the cutting edge Cisco technology here uh, that they've deployed to run the network operations center here at Cisco Live. So very, very cool stuff. A lot of different types and styles of their UCS servers, all interconnected. This is basically the data center element. Okay, moving back up. We got the core switching up there. And then here on the top left, we have our wireless and our edge on the WAN. So you can see here we've got a bunch of different uh, wireless controllers and floor. Actually, these are Cisco Catalyst switches that uh, provide the wireless function for all the access points to plug into these devices here. All of this is also highly meshed interconnected work channels between everything, I think aggregation, so that nothing's ever going to go down. And they're supporting a lot of wireless users here. So uh, let's see here. Well, actually, if you go up to this screen here, wireless client distribution, there's not too many people connected. 9,419 clients. On the Wi-Fi 5 today, they got 7,000 on the Cisco Live. Anyway, those are over 9,000 wireless clients. That's a lot of clients to support. It's across this entire floor. So it takes all this equipment to run that type of thing efficiently. And it's been working great here as I've been using their wireless the entire time. Uh, let's see what else we have going on here. At the top, the Edge Firewall Block. That's their WAM block. This is, these are the devices that are protecting the edge of the network because they have extremely fat internet pipes here. I'm not sure what their internet pipe bandwidth is. Um, that's why I usually like to talk to a network operations center engineer here is to get those stats. Like what is your current uh, bandwidth for your internet? How about in between the different devices? What type of load can we handle on this network? Which is gonna be extremely robust. So I always like to get that info if we have it. Um, anyway, here we have more stuff going on. You can see they have connections to some ASRs over in Sunnyvale, California, and also in Denver, Colorado, connecting the private WAN into more of Cisco's network so they can access more of Cisco services. So we have private WAN connectivity there. And then here on the right, another array of different styles of switching. We've got some Meraki, we've got some Catalyst, uh, just showing off a few more different types of the uh, Cisco devices. So you have a very nice array of equipment here from across a lot of Cisco's networking, enterprise networking portfolio. Let's see, what other cool stuff we got going on? Let's, let's get, let's pan back over here to this wireless side. Um, again, looking at the top, we have over 9,000 clients on this wireless network. Scrolling down a little bit, we can see the Cisco Live Internet WAN statistics. Maybe we'll be able to see some uh, bandwidth information here. We can see the active traffic, 1.58 gigabit per second coming in. This is the internet. And total out currently is 638 megabit per second. So not a lot of traffic is currently going in and out, but I'm sure it can support a ton. And let's see what else we got. Internet download. Okay, so you got the APK, you can see if you can. All right, moving on down here. 
active leases, DHCP, and this is all the different addresses that are, are being handed out on the network right now, showing you DHCP statistics. Here, more wireless information. What is this, 10,000? 10, 10,000 total wireless, okay. So it's like, there was a, a 9,000 connected with 10,000 Oh, maybe that's what that means, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Here's some different types of devices. We got some Meraki stuff going on. And then down at the bottom, this is our storage area network. Insights into our storage area network. Into the net app SAN here. See the throughput of the SAN. Uh, latency, you want that to be as low as you can possibly get. Total storage efficiency, 15%. Average latency to the storage environment on DC1 is 14 milliseconds. Average latency to D DC2 is 15 uh, milliseconds. Point, actually, 0.15 milliseconds, not 15 milliseconds. It's much better. All right, awesome stuff. So you can see here, folks, you know, uh, they've got it going on at Cisco, of course, with their own gear. Let's have a look at that gear. Now, this is where it usually comes into a lot better of a presentation when you have the knock engineer here to really... Uh, break down all the equipment in a lot more detail. So I'll just give a higher level overview of kind of the stuff we have going on here. Here on the right, you can see, this is actually our storage environment. How do I know that? We're looking at NetApp devices. We've got a lot of storage arrays down here. If you see all those blinking lights, those are actually disks um, that are part of the uh, NetApp storage array. So we've got our, our storage and our compute all over here. We've got some of some of the stuff you see on the floor here, like with our flex pods. Moving on to the rack here on the left. Here we have more of our data center. Um, actually, this is where most of our compute is here. So we have a Nexus 9K. This is DC1, and we have lots of UCS servers here. Uh, these UCS Blade servers uh, performing all of the compute and all of the RAM uh, memory for the entire server architecture here. And then all of the files and whatnot get stored in the sand. All right, and moving on further, here we have an ASR 1009-2. So you can see these are actually bigger chassis routers that are modular to handle lots of bandwidth uh, and, and WAN routing. So we see different types of circuits here. We've got a few different types of fiber connectivity connected to these ASRs. And then heading further to the left here. Excuse me, folks. Here we're getting into, let's see, we've got Core 9606 SVL2. These are connecting probably all of their other uh, LAN switches and whatnot. So this is the core, this is the core, these are core switches here at the bottom. And then we have these edge firewall services on top of that. And then we have the wireless, the Wi-Fi distribution devices on top of that. So where these all their connections go to is other equipment. It goes to other switches. It goes out to the floor where a bunch of APs might be plugging into switches and MDFs, uh, connecting all back here into the main data center. Or you could call it the IDF, I guess, for, for Cisco Live. Um, or actually, no, the MDF for Cisco Live. Got those two, two, two terms swapped there. Anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. This is the Cisco Network Operations Center for Cisco Live 2022. Jacob Hess here from NGT Academy, and I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Jacob Hess here. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I'd also like to remind you, if you're truly serious about your career in information technology, then be sure to check out our IT engineer training programs at www.02engineer.com.